Good day everyone. In today's video I got the old office chair and the Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, car seat. It's a passenger side and uh, I'm gonna make the gaming chair for myself out of these two. If you're interested, stay tuned. to get a new gaming chair and what I found is that you either get the cheap versions of a really expensive quality version of the chair and also most of them you have to order online so you're not able to go sit down in one and then uh, see how it fits you. Uh, so what I did instead I got this uh, office chair from work it was absolutely free because it has a they were replacing the chairs and they were just throwing this one away so I got it and uh, then I went to pull apart and I went and sat in a bunch of different seats and different cars and uh, this is the passenger seat from uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse and uh, I got it for $55 from our local pull apart and uh, it's, it seems like a fairly nice seat. It needs some cleaning. I would like, really like to clean it first but uh, I'm going to make the chair and then because I'll be turning around and building it on the floor I'll get it dirty again and then once it's mounted and everything then uh, we'll get this uh, chair all cleaned up. I think it looks really cool. Uh, the first step would be I'm going to remove the tracks off the chair and see the way I'm going to mount it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tracks. Just to remove the tracks, I kind of looked on here already. And uh, looks like I just have to undo these two bolts. And there's a couple other bolts, one here and one over there. And I think the whole track will come off. Uh, so the next step would be I'm going to use that plywood over there. I'm going to build kind of a mount space. I'm going to see if I can reuse these uh, uh, bolt holes and maybe put my mount 2x4 or something like that. But uh, first step would be to remove this. And also I'm going to remove the chair from the stand because I'm going to use the stand. It's real, it seems like a very good quality stand. In order for me to do that, there's literally four bolts holding it in and then one two and then three and four take those out three bolts holding each uh, armrests in i'm gonna I would like to reuse armrests and put them on here also we'll see how that works out so yeah i'm the first part is going to kind of disassemble everything and uh, see where we stand and uh, see what we need to do as far as uh, getting the mount done but the plan is so far just be able to bolt up the plywood here and then uh, you'll be able to get the stand bolted into the plywood to hold the whole thing. So let's get going. All right, so I wasn't able to remove the whole sliding uh, mechanism because uh, it's all one big piece. And if I end up taking the screws out I was talking about, uh, the whole bottom cushion comes off and then uh, this is mounted to the track, the top part of the seat. So this kind of has to stay and uh, removing just the sliding part, it looks like just a bit of a pain. So what I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mount a piece of plywood right straight to the sliding track and I would be able to kind of adjust where I need it to be. I'm probably not going to use this much once it's set into place, but I'll be able to kind of, once I mount the bottom part of the seat, I'll be able to slide it and find find the center of gravity on this thing and then uh, just leave it there. Uh, also got the chair all disassembled. It's ready to go. It wasn't very hard. It was just kind of a few screws holding that on. So the next part would be to get a piece of plywood and then uh, get this uh, piece cut out. I'm gonna measure it out here to here and here to here. I just have a nice piece. Also has these uh, bolts already sticking out. 
be able to just pound those out just hit those with a hammer they should come out the other way same thing on this side and i think i'm going to double up my plywood it's pretty thin i think it's like i can't remember what size it is actually but it's pretty thin plywood i'm going to be able to okay, i'll show you here there we go it's pretty thin so i'm going to double that up i think when i build it i just cut out two squares and then i bolt them up so they one big piece just be a little more sturdy because seat is pretty heavy but the uh, chair is pretty heavy duty also so it should be able to hold all this weight all right well, i'm gonna get started on that and i'll give you another update All right, so I got the plywood all cut up, two pieces, so like I was saying, because it's not very thick. I would go with like a half inch. This is, like I said, I don't know, probably like a quarter inch or something like that, plywood. But uh, another thing I did, I found some of the hardware I had laying around. You can always go buy some. And I took these bolts out. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna use these holes, this hole, this hole, and probably this hole instead of this one gonna get hard to get to and this one to mine mount the plywood i'm gonna have to make the holes just a little bigger so i got the bit and the drill ready i'm just gonna make it to this size so i'll be able to put these bolts all the way through through the plywood onto the other side and put the nut on this side so it holds it nice and sturdy and i'll show you when it's done Alrighty guys, my camera died, but I didn't get the base of the chair mounted to the seat. Uh, so there's a, two pieces of plywood that, that I had. I ended up using the four bolt holes, existing bolt holes, just making them bigger and then putting the nuts on top of them. Right there, bolts and nuts going through. Uh, next step, I'll probably end up using kind of like a grinder or something to just uh, smooth out these edges and probably paint the plywood black so it's not uh, kind of just pops into your eyes like that. Uh, the, then I uh, mounted the base of the seat, so I used the, some of the big hardware that I had. It kind of goes all the way through, comes out on the other side, right there. So it's pretty heavy duty, and it's very sturdy. So yeah, it's, it seems to be very sturdy. I don't think it's uh, gonna break or anything like that. The stand is really, really sturdy also. So I'm gonna flip it around, Next step, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with the uh, hand rests, and, uh, with the arm rests, and then uh, probably take it all apart and paint the wooden piece. All right, here we go. So uh, it's very sturdy. If I sit down on it, it's uh, it's really just very sturdy. So uh, as far as the arm rests go, if I mount it below the wooden piece right there. It ends up being very low, so this is all the way extended out, and uh, I mean, this is pretty good position right now. But if I mount it below, the armrest is way too low to be functional. So uh, what I have to do, I have to take it apart, and then I will mark where I'm going to put this armrest, so I'm kind of giving myself enough room 
so I can reach these. Uh, the seat adjuster recliner part, and then uh, see where I can see what I can do about mounting this uh, armrest on top of this plywood. So yeah, I'm just gonna take everything apart, and then uh, you'll see me mounting it. Well, here it is guys it's all done I got it all cleaned up and uh, ready to go uh, one thing I didn't show on the video I put uh, some of these wheels on uh, they're locking wheels so you can lock them in so whenever you use your pedals or something like that when you press on the pedal it doesn't slide back so you can lock all, all five of them in and it's actually pretty pretty stable uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys liked this project. I think it was a lot of fun getting out there, uh, finding the right seat that would work on top as an office chair that's comfortable for me, getting the whole project done. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, share the video with somebody who you think might help. Maybe somebody else is looking at the different chairs and stuff and it could be a really cool option for somebody. So yeah, yeah like it if you guys liked it, dislike it, dislike it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.